So what's the sensitivity of uh, two questions? What's the impedance, the nominal impedance of the speakers? Are they all eight ohm or the, are the towers four ohm? And what's the average sensitivity? Are you at least, you know, 87, 88 dB sensitive on your bookshelves and in the 90s, maybe on the towers? What's your criteria? What's your, your how are they From, being measured? Uh, IEC, 300 hertz to three kilohertz. Okay. We do typically 100 to 10K average oh, wow. that for our sensitivity, unless it's band limited in some way. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, they range from 86 up to 88, 89, depending on the model. And then for uh, impedance, again, you know, what's your criteria? What, what's your again, the IEC, method? So, it, so if it's I, an 8 ohm speaker, IEC. one. Well, basically, IEC standard is if it's an 8 ohm rated speaker, it can't drop more than 80% of that rating. So 6.4 ohm would be your impedance minima. And okay. 4 that's ohms a, would be 3.2. Can't deviate by more than twenty percent. So um, there are four ohm loudspeakers. Okay, basically. all of them, even the even the bookshelves. Yep. Gotcha. So, question here on the impedance: Do they drop? Do any of the speakers drop below three ohms? Is it a consideration if you're getting a tower and matching it with a Atmos AV receiver that can't handle four ohm speakers too well? They're they're all going to handle four ohm speakers. I you know this this is one of my pet peeves is you know. Everybody's making forum speakers. Yeah. I don't know where these people think they're finding eight ohm speakers. I I do a lot of competitive assessment. I know. I've, yeah. I've, do, I've done the research. People are smoking pot if they think they're, they're finding <laughs> eight ohm loudspeakers out of the market today. Guy. Maybe six, maybe six ohms on some of them, but you're giving yeah. up sensitivity usually to get that. No, so they're forum right. loudspeakers, yeah. and and I and I don't know the minimums on these rarely get below three point six. Mm -hmm. um, so th they're going to work fine with your receivers. We, yeah, they're going to take more power if you can give it to them. But you know, we listen to them with 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 you know regular receivers, just like a, a customer would listen to them, and they don't have any trouble with them. Are they going to you know Are they going to play as good as uh, on a three hundred receiver as they do on a two thousand? No, but yeah, they're going to play. I'll tell you what they will play really good on. I just finished up my bench testing on the Denon PMA A110. That thing is a current hog, man. That thing could double down. I mean, I had t I tested it down into two ohm loads. I know people are saying, oh, it's only 80 watts a channel. Wait till they see my bench test results. Very impressive. <laughs> yes. Beautifully crafted, too, if I may say. I love the, how that thing looks.